It's very dire. It's like someone's grandmother wrote it. Large waves often appear after long periods of calm seas. So basically, heads up, don't be fool. And 20% of the people who drown never intended to get wet. My heavens. It's a rainy day here in Tofino. And we were trying to figure out. We had rain one night while we were at Shoe Swap Lake. But I cannot remember a rainy day that we've had. Lake Louise. That's right. That's exactly right. The only reason I remember this is that we haven't gotten all the towels and scatter rugs out since for the dogs. And the dogs are a hassle in the rain, whether you're in your stick and brick house or your RV, but small space. Um, we needed a day off. We're pooped. So the weather's causing us to slow down a little today. Still have to get the dogs out, walk them, all that. But otherwise, we're just going to take a moment and chill. Slept great with the sound of the rain on the roof and the windows. And apparently this afternoon, this one cleared back up. About an hour ago, stopped raining. Clouds lifted. Sun came out. So we're going to take uh, a little bit of beach time today just to see how it is. However, it's very unlike any beach that uh, we're accustomed to back home because it's 64 degrees. So Amy is in leggings and a sweatshirt. And we're heading to the beach. But any day at the beach is a good day for me. Let's go. Hey, it's the longest beach. You do have to display a park pass because we are in the Pacific Rim National Park, so you will still need to have a park pass visible, and it is paid parking on this beach. Surfing capital of Kina, is that right, Ange? That is right. And uh, we came out to Long Beach Public Parking, and uh, I think Amy counted 59 out there. In the water right now. And there's really no waves to speak of. This place lives up to all the height. It really does. Is it more evident of who is Canadian and who is not Canadian? So the surfers are wearing wetsuits, appropriately so. There are a lot of families in bathing suits playing in the water right now. And the non-Canadian citizens have on jackets and sweatshirts and pants and hoods. It's a beautiful day, but I cannot imagine getting in that water right now. I put my foot in and it hurt. So it appears there's a lot of bright green surfboards with stuff written on the bottom. And I believe those are rentals. So we saw a bunch of surf shops that rent surfboards. So if you think about where everyone dresses, this is like a great place to actually give them a trap. I feel free like a bird singing in the trees. Head up in the clouds, never gonna leave. I got this magic coming over me. I breathe in the moment. Can't slow down. My feet were born to fly. I wanna live every moment I'm alive. I got these good, good vibes I can't deny. I breathe in the moment. Feeling good, it's a beautiful day. We are parked at Area 5. Area 4 and 5 seems to be the most populous, popular areas on the beach. But if you're walking south, the further we get, I only see like four people in front of us. If you want the beach to yourself, just head south. It's beautiful. Wow. 
I'd be surprised. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amy. Amy Jump, she sees the play. We got to stop what we're doing. Hey. We've been trying to wait out the fog this morning. Um, the fog, it's oceanfront, so it's wet and misty and freezing. I can't believe we're saying that. We are so cold. Sorry, buddy. Um, we're going to drive over to Eucalypt this morning. From what we understand, more beautiful beach, a little less busy and crowded than Tofino, though I must say, it's busy in Tofino. We've certainly not been overwhelmed by any crowdedness feelings or anything, so I guess it's all just what you're used to. From the Long Beach campground, it's about 20 some kilometers, 24 to 27 kilometers from here, so uh, not too bad of a drive. swept away and then you get cold water shock so it's very dire it's like someone's grandmother wrote it large waves often appear after long periods of calm seas so basically heads up don't be fool and 20 percent of the people who drown never intended to get wet my heavens if you're in the trees you're marked the safe zone just there on the trail. Being swept away can be deadly. I imagine so. Fighting surf is like being in a washing machine. How do you know? Have you been in a washing machine? Who, who knows that? Swimming in wet clothes is like wearing concrete. Okay, I do happen to know that is a bit of an exaggeration. But sure, heads up. Got it. Yeah, getting yeah. pictures and things. I mean, you could totally see that, right? I'm totally glad we did not do a tour to them. Yeah, the fog is no no, 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 it's not. Like, do you see? There's a boat there. I saw some kayakers go by, but the visibility is poor. Yeah. Yep. And we walked probably to about like right here, and then came back. Yeah, I think we definitely made it to here. Right, because we saw that beach. But then to keep going, you got to go back up around town, the roads. Or you can park at the Frog Lot. And that has a section you have to go back around. It looks like the biggest bang for your buck would be to park at Big Beach. And then you can go the whole coastline. Way, like 7.5 kilometers total. Or you can park at Rocky Bluffs and come this way either way, right. right? For your longest stretch. I don't know if it's as beautiful as this area, but. I would say probably not. Just, well, just... the fact that what we did was called Inspiration Point. Right. Exactly. Right. That's what I mean. But it's worth checking out. Sure. Okay, so this says to do, let's see, 15, 45, an hour, 20 minutes one way if you do that full loop. So we might want to decide which section. Yep. Ah, this fog. Yeah, this fog is unfortunate today. It's kind of pretty in its own way. Oh, yeah. But, most but I would love to see this without it. Yeah, I would too. The reason that lighthouse is so short is because they do have extreme weather and winds here, so it oh, had really? to be able to withstand it. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, well, read the signs. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, we noticed this even outside of our campground, the way these tree trunks grow, because there's a lot of rainforest. That is amazing. They're twisty and turny, but they're alive and they're healthy. Absolutely my favorite trail, hands down ever in my entire lifetime. And I'm doing it in flip-flops, which helps because I like to walk in flip-flops. You just, you go through the rainforesty areas and these tree structures are unlike anything I've ever seen. And then you have cutouts very close together and they all have a unique view and they're all stunning. We have decided to postpone we're not truly punny. We're going to postpone. We're going to come back and see if we can ca catch it to clear weather and maybe try to do the whole trail. Definitely. It's just too special not to. If this is the only time we had to get it in, we'd go ahead and finish the trail in the fog. But we have some time to play with here. I mean, maybe we go have some lunch and it's already clear, but maybe it's this evening. Maybe it's tomorrow. We're going to do this whole trail. And I think that's a good call. Let's go have lunch and we'll, we'll take a look before we leave, right? Jim's ready for some lunch. Let's go. Everyone's so polite that nobody goes and sits down at the table until they have their food. We'll arm wrestle here, but then we'll wait. Um, no one is scrambling to take the feeding. Everyone just kind of waits till they get their food. And by then, everyone's had a chance to eat and leave, and the rotation seems to be very efficient. Imagine that.